to some breaking news now. And Russia has declared Estonian Prime Minister Kaya Kalas a wanted person. The Kremlin says it placed her on the wanted list for taking hostile actions against Russia and what it calls the desecration of historical memory. Moscow has long criticized Estonia for removing Soviet-era monuments. Estonia's state secretary and Lithuania's culture minister are also on the list. Kalas has been a vocal supporter of Ukraine since Russia's invasion. Let's bring in our Russian analyst, Konstantin Egert. He's in Vilnius. Tell us more about the significance of these developments. Well, it is uh, yet another uh, step in the Kremlin's gradual sort of uh, pushing up the temperature of bilateral relations with Central Europe and the Baltic states, which are already in a very, very sort of pretty much non-existent shape, I would even say. Uh, but this is also very much part of uh, domestic uh, agenda because uh, Kai Kalas, the Prime Minister of Estonia, and the Lithuanian uh, Culture Minister Simonas Kairis are uh, accused of desecration of monuments. I will explain what it means. It means that uh, basically uh, the Soviet army monuments that are considered in the Baltic states to be monuments to occupiers are uh, being removed and put in, let us say, uh, special. Uh, museums where they display uh, statues of totalitarian period. At the same time, most of these statues do not have any graves nearby, so there's no desecration, actually. Uh, in rare cases when there are graves, uh, soldiers are reburied in military cemeteries. So uh, this is quite a bit of a bending of reality uh, by the Kremlin in order to remind the domestic audience that this fight against the West, as Putin describes it, is also about fighting for what is considered to be, quote unquote, sacred memory of Russia. Why is this coming now, though? Because relations between Estonia and Russia have never really been good. Well, I would say that you do not see any particular logic in that, apart from the fact that this is the year where uh, you're going to have a, a very special NATO summit in Washington and the Baltic states and uh, other Central European countries are going to be very vocal in their support for Ukrainian membership of the alliance. But I would say this type of action will definitely rekindle here in the Baltic states uh, debates about uh, the potential Russian invasion, whether it's imminent or not. And this, after what, let's say, President Trump, or former President Trump said a few days ago about not coming to the aid of, uh, not coming to the aid of Europe in case of Russian attack, uh, is basically very contextual here. And I think that we're going to see quite a bit of debates about why the Russians did it, although maybe it's just been done by the Kremlin for pure propaganda purposes. Russia analyst Konstantin Eger, thank you. Thank you, Ben.